Hi, my name is Robert Kosiniak. I'm with Calibre Yacht Sales. Today we're introducing the Westerly Ocean 43. These boats were designed for comfort. She's equipped with a self-furling with all the lines leading to the cockpit. With that, your crew can easily handle this boat or if you like to single hand, she's set up for that too. It has traveled from the UK across to Panama to Australia and New Zealand. It's proven itself in blue water cruising. Uh, this boat is in premium condition. She is a beautiful blue water cruising boat, center cockpit design. Come on aboard, let's take a look. One of the additions that were made on this boat was making sure the solar panels could keep up to the power consumption. He's put on panels in such a way that they can be off the grid. They don't have to worry about shore power. Another nice feature on this boat is these wide decks. They're teak, great traction, but they're beautifully laid out, nice and wide, not cluttered. In the aft section here, we have a large radar arch that actually holds, keeps things out of the way. You can tie your lines up on here to keep things out of the way. Uh, on top, you have a solar panel again. At the stern section, we have a beautiful sugar scoop uh, layout with a teak inlay in the step. That is great for boarding into your dinghy. If you're going to stern tie, you have great access to control the lines. You have the stainless steel swim ladder and there's also a hook up here for your wind vane, self-steering. It's all built in. All you have to do is hook it up and away you go. And walking forward, you'll notice these again, these beautiful wide decks, teak inlay. Walking forward, nice solid stanchions keeping you safe. And here we have the self-furling system where everything is easily, all the lines run back to the cockpit. Power winch, button control on the peak or in the cockpit helm. Below here you have your sail hatch. You can store your fenders away nice and safe or you can raise your storm sails quick from this area. Self-tailing winches on the sides. But the main, look at the center cockpit. It's absolutely beautiful. Come on aboard, let's take a look. And here you go. It's pouring rain outside and we have this gorgeous cockpit inside that's all sheltered. Uh, behind me, we have the autopilot. This side, we have the auto winch, which is great for helping raise the powerful main. All your lines lead back, easily handled by one person or your crew can take it and it's a great sailing machine. Your instrumentation in front of you gives you great directions on what's going on. Nice table that comes out, uh, teak cup holder for up and down anchor, compass. Uh, it's designed so that you got great vision forward and extra head height added for the helmsman in the, in the aft section. In those great summer days, all this drops down, you get open space, great entertaining area right here, right in front of you. Let's go below and take a look. And here we are. Isn't this gorgeous? Uh, the original owners commissioned this boat. They had the choice of teak or the oak. And this boat is filled with the white oak. It brightens it up, uh, gives it a nice uh, airy, uh, roomy space. Very large open area. You look at the settee area, again, an upgrade to the leather seating. Uh, plenty of storage throughout, a lot of storage behind. Here you have the nav station, again, fully loaded with all your instrumentation, easy to plot your course. Uh, starting off with our radar, Leica GPS navigator, our SSB transceiver, Below you got the VHF with DSC. And on this side you have your electrical panel that will tell you, uh, give you access to all the electrics on the boat. Master volt system here, keeps control of what's coming in. Moving on to the galley. Large Corian countertops, 
great for spreading out whatever you'd be uh, cooking, whatever you decide to make. This countertop access to the large fridge freezer. Again, it's, it starts about here, cuts off, goes all the way to the floor. So plenty of room to store your food for whatever journey you're on. Uh, there is an added um, uh, dome tech freezer that they've used. Uh, so when they're off the grid for three to four weeks or even longer, you have plenty of food before you have to fill that up again. A lot of storage. Cabinets throughout various locations, well suited to store away your pots, your food, dishes, cutlery. Here we have a Force 10 3 burner propane stove, complete with broiler, oven, gimbaled, so again when you're underway you can still put on a kettle. Uh, molded countertop here with a drain pan, goes into double sink, keep your hot pot safe, keep them out of the way. And on this side of the galley, we have again another large Corian countertop, microwave set in here, plenty of drawers all locking, keep everything safely stored away. And uh, the heating system in this boat actually has a three zone, Hurricane 2, Master, the main salon, the forward V berth you can control in different uh, climates depending on what your guests or you prefer. Look at this gorgeous master suite. Full walk around queen bed, storage cabinets on either side, and beautiful lighting, side windows, a nice hatch on top to get fresh air coming through on those hot days. Plenty of storage underneath. Also the nice feature in the headliner behind the master bed. There's great access to the Hurricane 2 heating system. Creates a beautiful, beautiful uh, setting. Uh, can you imagine yourself sleeping back here? Absolutely stunning. Uh, you have your TV system here with a DVD full control for heating. Here's your ensuite for the master suite, which actually includes a separate shower. On the side here is the door for the engine room and gives you full access uh, for anything you need, anytime you need to get in there. Okay, moving forward, we have our V berth with another head with shower. The side as the third suite, which was ordered from the factory. It is another berth that can be used for storage, which makes a great place to tuck things away. And again, plenty of room in here, lots of storage, hanging lockers, hatch, bringing in fresh air. Uh, this boat is in premium condition. Uh, the owners have kept it and improved it from its original state when they purchased it. Uh, he has gone over and above with systems. Uh, they're very particular on how their boats run. This boat is self-sufficient no matter where you take it. You can be off the grid for months at a time and you never have to worry about it. And it's ready for new owners. All in all, a very beautiful boat. Uh, if you'd like to know more, give us a call at Calibre Yachts, go to our website, see full details there.